What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here bringing another Black Desert online video and today we are taking a look at something that is uh, frequently asked, um, although it is actually fairly easy to get an answer for, uh, so figured we'll put into a video for when people ask and take a look, and that is the build uh, for Dark Knight Succession. Um, Awakening wise, we'll, uh, we'll do another one for that, I kind of want to wait till the new Awakening um, damage changes come into effect before we do that, so this is just going to be for succession skill build. Thing is, it's very simple for succession skill build in general because basically you want every succession skill, 100%. The skills uh, in the Dark Knight succession kit are very, very, very good, very high damage. The DPS is much, much higher than Awakening, um, and the class can actually be pretty dangerous when used uh, appropriately in PvP, thanks to the damage output that you have. Typically, it's going to take you around 1,700 skill points to get uh, a medium, let's say, build uh, for uh, Dark Knight Succession in general. Um, again, all of the skills are very important. Uh, outside of Obsidian Ashes, uh, this skill is hardly used um, You know, in, in barely any scenarios. The animation is very slow. Uh, for it, as you can see there, so it's not super useful. You might use it for pulling mobs, uh, but honestly, even in that case, you've got Shadow Strike, uh, which is just almost instant cast very quickly, uh, can be used on it and uh, has better damage to it as well, so it, it's it's not really used much. Um, so that one's not very important at all. Other than that, you definitely want to be learning uh, every single skill that you can. Um, Priority-wise, uh, you definitely need to be picking up Twilight Dash, Spirit Legacy as quickly as possible. Lunacy, Vidir, Wheel of Fortune are going to be your bread and butter uh, in this, and then you'll kind of branch out to the others to expand your combos uh, from there. Uh, Ravage Rake is actually used quite a bit in your PvE combos uh, in, in this uh, build, as opposed to in Awakening, where we really didn't use it hardly ever, if at all, um, for it. But uh, aside from that, you do need Nocturne, and especially for PvP, you do use this in your PvE combo a bit as well thanks to the fact that you can cancel um, your Twilight Dash with a Nocturne uh, and actually get damage output that way. It'll also put you directly behind the mob in front of you, uh, so that actually is important in PvE, although at first glance it doesn't seem like it, especially if you're used to how it worked in Pre-Awakening. So outside of literally learning all of the Succession skills, being the appropriate skill build for Succession, let's take a look at the few main uh, skills. Those are definitely the ones you want to focus on in Succession. Outside of that, there are things that you want, uh, but they aren't necessarily 100% necessary. This will be as you start to flesh out uh, other skills as you get more and more skill points. You can see I'm obviously not using uh, nearly as many as we have as I just don't need them from there. Um, Using split second uh, in PvP can actually be kind of tricky. It's sort of like having a forward guard uh, stiffness, um, a forward guard with a, a CC available, uh, but the opponent has to be pretty close to get it. Um, you probably don't use this much in PvE aspects. Uh, in the instance, maybe you're grouping up mobs and want to get that stiffness uh, just to keep them all together, maybe at star's end to group them around the uh, one of the crystals appropriately and then blow it up from there. Uh, that can be used if you're not using Unveiled Dagger. Speaking of, that's another one that you're definitely going to want to have maxed out, Unveiled Dagger. Uh, and then it's uh, flow or hidden strike, however you want to determine that. It's not technically a flow, I suppose. Uh, those two skills you do want to have maxed out. They apply decent damage, but more importantly, it's a very, very quick uh, CC. So you can get that stiffness um, uh, marked in very fast. Uh, you can catch a lot of people in PvP for that. And then PvE application, similar to split second. Um, I do use this one quite a bit at Star's End uh, when I'm grouping around crystals um, to keep the, uh, the smaller mobs there. Uh, actually stiffened and, and stayed together while I'm getting that grouping going. Obviously, Smoky Haze, your dashes are going to be very important, along with uh, your Dusk Chains as well. These are your iframes moving from uh, forward amount there or uh, to the side. Chain Dusk, that's just bread and buttered. Um, DK as far as that goes. Shadow Bullet's an interesting one. Um, if you have the uh, air one for it, you're actually invisible, invincible, sorry, uh, invincible while you're invisible using it. Um, outside of that, uh, Shadow Bullet's going to get used in PvE possibly for pulling mobs in higher end areas, but in PvP, uh, I actually do use this sometimes, and the reasoning for that uh, is that movement speed debuff. So when the character is fairly far off or we're kind of still poking at each other before there's like been an actual engage, this isn't a terrible way to kind of like get at them. It doesn't get used a ton, so an opponent that hasn't fought a lot of DKs um, might not see this coming in that movement uh, debuff movement speed debuff can actually be pretty handy uh, in certain situations and it's also a good way to kind of bait them into engaging it's not protected so you do want to make sure you're careful with when you're doing that luscious snare uh, hardly do this it is kind of a trick you could do in PvP again not protected animations pretty slow for it and uh, as it stands right now it explodes 15 seconds after summoning this is supposed to have some changes later on but we'll have to see uh, how and when those are applied in in the future. Uh, overall, you'll probably not use this very much. Again, maybe a PvP trick. You won't see this in PvE pretty much at all. 
uh, Ravage Rake, of course, you're just going to have this to, uh, Absolute uh, marked up so that uh, after your succession uh, for Ravage Rake, you then also have the Absolute um, to tag on the damage at the end. Uh, here, you definitely want to have your uh, Enforcement Termination. This is your bread and butter PvP and PvE combo. It is included in both of those, so this one's absolutely necessary. Um, again, you want to max out the succession skills before you start dumping into these, but uh, the Termination Flow does need to be on there um, so that you get that extra damage, both PvP and PvE. Obviously, you need your Lunacy of Adir and Kama Sylvia Slash, Wheel of Fortune. Um, again, the Obsidian Ash is not necessary. These, of course, have to be learned up to not including the Absolute to unlock the succession along with them. Uh, and then Corrupt Ground is completely useless. You might use this while you're leveling your DK prior to hitting 56 to, to get into succession or awakening. Um, just because it has some uh, recovery for it for MP, but the skill is unprotected, uh, incredibly slow, and even at ma even maxed out, the damage is just not good enough to make sense for it. Uh, if you actually use this in PVE, you're lowering DPS because the animation is too slow um, for what you're actually getting out of it, and if you use it in PVP, you're just going to get dead very, very, very quickly because it is absolutely awful. So there you go. That's the skill build for it. Um, this will be posted uh, on the Twitch page for it with a, with a uh, link um, the bot will post up so that way um, you can get this popped up whenever you need it uh, and then I'll also put a screenshot of just the the uh, skills pull, pull these out as well and put a link in the description below so you can check those out so if you got somebody asking what's the build for uh, DK succession you can literally say every succession skill uh, and then if you want to just kind of go through what skills you're going to need in pre-awakening as well uh, there you go you've got it here so that's going to be it for this video be sure to like it if you did enjoy it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live uh, my regular account is uh, currently out of my control as it was hacked so we're going to be posting to this new uh, channel for now so make sure you subscribe to this one so you'll catch all the new videos going up and if you want to catch me playing live you can head on over to the twitch page that links in the description below uh, and just drop a follow over there so you get notifications for that with that said that's going to be it for this one I want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time